Hi everyone, I'm Solid Knight, and today we will be checking out Reasonable Doubt. This is season two, episode one. I checked out season one, and I just had to come back for season two. This show is great. The twists, the plot twists were just wonderful. So I cannot wait to see what season two has to offer. The last episode um, on the last season was traumatic so we're gonna see how everyone handles the situation and um you know see how it plays out so if you guys are new please make sure to leave a like in the video subscribe let me know your thoughts on this show in the comments below you can also find the full link reactions on my patreon the link for that will be in the description down below so if you guys want to check that out with me um without further ado let's go ahead and watch season two episode one of reasonable doubt let's go okay okay good they're getting back on good terms i hope she didn't. She said she's not playing no more games she she fed up oh the fucking nah he is abusive so i mean it does happen but I mean, everybody's sorry when they're dying. Um, no offense. I'm interested to see how they're gonna play it out because we know oh boy got a not guilty verdict. So is he still gonna be a part of the show? Like, what they gonna do with that? It's been two months since the kidnapping. How are you feeling? Oh, she's going to therapy. Good for her. I am feeling better. I make breakfast for the kids in the morning and then exercise before noon. Now, I can do them every day without feeling stressed about them. What about Lewis? Has he moved back in? He hasn't moved back in, but he does stay over a lot. So does he still the rest of them? Ooh. No. Part of me feels like I'm cheating. Maybe you'll think about starting it, you know, once you return to work. I'm able to clean, to go back to the office after today. Oh. Is she ready to go back? She, you feel she, ready to go back to work? She really yeah. uh, expecting me back. Was liking these therapy sessions. We all have choices. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Today I'm getting a medication. My boyfriend. I want to know what y'all's belief on the medication. I mean, I know some people do need it, but I feel like a lot of the times they do be prescribing people medicine, and they don't always need it necessarily. But I don't know, y'all. I I want to hear your thoughts on that. Let me know in the comments. Hey, girl, can I call you back later? Mmm. <laughs> Fuck. Right. She having flashbacks. Did he do this to you? I was gonna leave him like for real this time. And then we got into it and I told him I was having a kid and then he just I just And he seemed like the type, honestly. I mean I could tell from that episode where uh they had the house party and how he was talking about, you know, just doing whatever he wants to do and he pays all the bills, so he should be able to tell her what to do. So I kinda got that kind of feeling that maybe this was happening, but I wasn't sure. So this is just crazy to find out this now. He was choking me and I felt like I couldn't breathe. And then I called 911 and then I called you. At least she called the police first. Please get an ambulance ready to take her somewhere where she can be escorted through a private entrance. Oh, and he's famous. I forgot, bro. Everything that happened from this moment on is important to know. What? Look, I know she was your friend, but she and Chanel got into a fight, and he tried to kill her. Baby, I am so sorry. Is she okay? Yeah, I should go. Babe, uh, Jax, I love you. I do, too. A sprained wrist, some lacerations mm. to her throat, and trauma to her esophagus. I'll send that report over ASAP. Thank you, Dr. Chan. There they go. You know they want to pa paint you out as a villain. My partner and I would like to ask you a few questions. Mm -hmm. Please. You should ask for a lawyer, actually. Okay, so when, in, um, in 2017, you stopped her. 
how bad was it? They were terrible. No, but if, if he told her, but if this would be the first time that he's not even. Is there gonna be a trial for her too? I need to go home. Wait, have you been cleared for work? Yeah. Good, because Chanel's gonna need all the help she can get. Can she even represent her? Isn't that like a conflict? Maybe they won't consider that. I don't know. Look, look, I told y'all, they trying to already paint her. Yeah, y'all just questioning her. She don't know her rights. Like, let her, she need a lawyer. That's, that's what she needs. She need a lawyer, bro. Can I help you? We're just asking Mrs. Tucker some questions about the victim. Did you ask if she wanted to have a lawyer present? Right. I'm they didn't. No. And finally, you keep referring to Mr. Tucker as the victim when the real victim is lying right, right here. there. I think you've gotten what you need. Good to know. Bye. Don't let the door hit you on your way out. I'm so sorry. What did you say to her? I think she was trying to get him to make her stop. If they come back, do not talk to anyone else. Okay. Okay. All right. She's got to be really strong for you because I know she's going through it as well. Oh, baby, I'm sorry. I filled your prescription. Okay, I can see the benefit of it. Um, it can help relax and uh, calm some of some of the anxiety behind it. I got to write down some things to do tomorrow for Chanel. You're Chanel's lawyer? Yeah. It's all for the best. Uh, anyone else in the state of California? Yeah. One of my best friends called me today to tell me that she killed her. It's a her tough husband, situation. She's now having one of the worst times of her You're life. You're having one of the worst times of your life. Yeah, but she wants to be there for her friend in this tough time. I get it. it it's going to probably be an issue, but... You know, she's just going to have to figure out how to juggle it. And it may be a lot all at once, but we'll see how they uh, figure that out. Are we still going to couples therapy? I'll figure it out. I can do both. I'm going to keep it all the way 100. I've been doing that for years. I mean, yeah. Not tomorrow when I pick up the kids. Mm. She really doesn't want to take a medication. Come on, not the cigarettes. It's 2024. Let's not... Please don't smoke no cigarettes. Guys. So what they been doing while she gone? Get my check. Yes, I'm just waiting for my boo, Cynthia, to get back to me. Ooh, that's your boo. Your boo, huh? Right. We see you. Called the DA's office and he said that he'll be at the office all day. Did some research on some similar stuff, defense cases involving domestic violence. But wow, Crystal. His right. absence does make the assistant work harder. <laughs> oh, mm -hmm. Jack, that was her cool. <laughs> Welcome back, Jack. I'm sure you've all heard about what happened to Jelani and Tucker. Today, I'm going to talk to Mike at the DA's office, find out what the plans are. I'm hoping to scale back on my billable hours. HR said you were cleared to come back. I'll keep you updated on Chanel's case. Good. Just no sympathy at all. That's how it really be. They don't give a F about you. They just want you to do the work and and be there all the time. Like, come on. Like, she deserves some time. Like, especially after she could have been killed and they don't even have no sympathy towards that. Like, come on now. What? Jeez. Look at them just smiling. Thank you, Dr. Culver, for doing this. She's struggling with survivor's guilt, mm. even though he tried to kill her. During those years of emotional and physical trauma, that's how it be, though. Made her feel that anything he did, she deserved. But he's dead. He can't hurt her anymore. He's Not an influence. Yet. I still have a few more questions, but I'll be sure to get the PTO. Dad, did Auntie Chanel raise her all the day, too? She did. But it's a lot more complicated than it seems. You don't want her to start working again? No, I need her to go back to work. She's all up in me and Spencer's business. Of course. Dad, she basically rewrote my paper the other night. It changed how she viewed the world, okay? This this experience changed how she looked at her life. She wants to be there for you now. She wants to, you know, you know, be more <laughs> of a mom to you because she felt like she was, you know, not there enough. So now she's, you know, out here, you know, 
I guess they're just not used to it at this point. That that's probably what it is. I'm glad you're there every night. Wait, what do you what do you mean? Dad, not her knowing. <laughs> Y'all ain't slick. Yeah, not slick. Two words. Rhymes with Chanel Rucker. Oh, mm. can a girl bring a friend some Randy's donuts? The case is still under review. The investigation is ongoing. Looks pretty straightforward. Aggravated battery, voluntary manslaughter, etc. <sighs> right. I don't know, Mike. Mm. <laughs> if the she really does not want to get this man that donut. To consider it. Oh. Who is that? Right? Lucy Jack Stewart. Nice to meet you. Here for a donut? We're government employees, so we aren't able to take any gifts or bribes. Girl, you take your job way too seriously. It's a donut. Come on now, bro. It's a bribe, a gift. It's not even that. Like, come on now. Like, how you can't be this stuck up. Like, I hope you never get to a point where it's like that. But I guess if you want to be that way, fine. And then she gave him that look. I give you that look back. They call her Wago the Warrior. Uh -huh. Well, look, what happens in Vegas needs to stay her ass in Vegas. Right. <laughs> I talked to the ME, and apparently, based on the coagulation, JT was dead for over two and a half hours before Chanel called the police. Ooh. That is a huge problem. Well, maybe she just got freaked out she didn't know what to do traumatized then, how do you explain chanel moving the body hours after jt was already dead mm. she didn't lie no no way that's the medical examiner's determination of how long jt was dead did those detectives ask you about when you called the police yes it all happened so fast i ran upstairs for a little while and hid then i called you you called me first before you called the police yeah i thought that i thought she called her first but I got confused because they made it seem like that she didn't because she said she didn't. But, I, yeah, because they showed it as soon as he was, you know, crawling on the floor, she called her first. So, I, yeah, I was like, why didn't she call the cops? You, you should call the cops first, obviously. <laughs> it was all kind of a, a blur. Okay, that's that's all right. But they're saying that you moved the body. She could have. I turned him over to make sure he was dead. A lot why better. Is he, why is he writing this? Yeah. I was protecting myself. Why are we even talking about this? One, it's because he's famous. Two, because the police always wants to paint a villain or a suspect in a situation like this. So, yes, a lot of the times they do try to, you know, you know, look at every single detail to see if you did something wrong. Listen to me, Chanel, okay? Look, I know this is a lot. Given JT's high-profile status, mm -hmm. uh, the DA may be pressured to charge you for something. We need to talk about what you want to do in the event that this becomes more... Well, what about a plea deal or something? Mm -hmm. if, if that's what you want to do, I can talk to the DA's office. I think the shift will be over. I think also what's probably, uh, let's say... What's probably causing these episodes, you could say, are the stress that is she's getting from these this case, this whole situation with her friend and the husband. So yeah, I feel like you know she was doing good, and but this might dredge up some more of that anxiety, that panic that she felt when um, she was in that situation. So yeah, this this may not be good. She may need to take a step back, honestly. At least she made it. I'm so sorry. I she might have been late, but at least she showed up. You separated last year. Mm -hmm. What what happened? Well, he gave me an ultimatum between him and my career. I felt that uh, Jax was prioritizing work in a way that wasn't necessary in an argument. I asked if she wanted to be a lawyer or a wife. What did you expect yeah. her to say? A wife? I expected her to say both. Oh. So now you're rewriting history. <laughs> I'm listening. Well, it's crazy when one person's job is dependent on the lifestyle that was had. She said, job, she fly. said, if you want to be able to afford this lifestyle, man, I got to be at work. You know, I got to get these extra billable hours. You know, I thought he was a game designer, though. Does he not get paid well, too? So I'm confused about that. Like, they never really talked about his finances, really. But I guess it's different.
seems to me like there's some sort of a, a point system in your relationship. Mm -hmm. Then you That's what more, it and I hurt you more. Seems like it's the kind of cycle that can lead to a separation. Who usually hurts whom first? She does. Wow, that ultimatum was very hurtful and unfair. Of course, there's only room in this relationship for one person's trauma, and it has to be yours. Okay, you are. No, I, I, I are you two looking to reconcile or uncouple? It's a good question. Some uh, reconcile. Losses. Okay, that's a good start. I'm here to help you communicate better through respect, empathy. You need to know how to be good when things are good and how to be good when things are bad. It's not going to be easy or fun. Sorry, I'm late. It was an accident. Unfortunately, I can't help you, Jax. I'm not on the case anymore. Oh, girl ran her mouth and said something, didn't she? I know. I know. She, I wish. Mm. Spike, whose case is it now? Not them playing this music. <laughs> I mean, she didn't look badass, though, walking up there like that. I feel like you could put any music over someone like that, and it'd be cool. D.D., we have charged Shamarian Tucker's wife. Mrs. Tucker is currently in custody. And the reason they really wanted to be a woman is so that it don't look as bad on their part, you know? Because if it's a man, they'd be like, how can he understand what... uh? what a woman could go through so that's why they that's why they put a woman so it's like less of hurt so like and she the perfect one to put up there too prosecutor allow a defendant to be arrested and charged before she alerts her lawyer i thought you were just a friend sorry oh uh, <laughs> i see how this go go what some dangerous criminal mastermind who right. killed her husband in cold blood for what purpose who moved the body after waiting two and a half hours to call police. She checked to see if he was dead before calling for help. That's understandable, ma'am. What? If someone is attacking you, abusing you, of course you want to check if they dead, bro. What? Stay in court, Mrs. Stewart. Mm-hmm. According to Lay and Colin 911, and calling me first isn't good about a plea is that still an option probably not with these officers yeah. we will find out what bell is going to do she if recommended no bell the prosecutor she knows and we are all here for her no matter what happens it never ceases to amaze me how you can have the occasional cigarette and never make it a habit it's not something i knew i guess mm. the only way that i can win her case is if i dedicate myself fully which is why i can't be her lawyer Mm. You know what? She's too close. Finally, prioritize my feelings, and I've never been able to do that. Do you see how sweaty my hands are? I had no <laughs> idea what you were gonna say. Thank you for sharing that with me. I know it wasn't easy to say no, especially when I really feel like you need to be there for her. Um, you're gonna let me know the partners in her case. Chanel needs someone who is going to fight for her, both mm -hmm. in and out of court. Hey, I don't think it's anybody. Jack Stewart. Want to speak? Yeah. Certainly. Fuck. Yeah, what? Okay. <laughs> Alright, y'all. So that is season two, episode one of Reasonable Doubt. I have definitely hooked and want to see more, so we will be checking out the rest of the series. If you guys want to see the full link reaction, like I said, you can find the link for that in the description. It'll take you to my Patreon. Uh, but yeah, uh, a lot happened this episode. We didn't know how everything went down, but apparently Chanel moved the body. She done uh, checked to see if it was dead. She waited two hours before she called the police which is not looking good for her case. It, the prosecutor finally done charged her. They chose a woman prosecutor because they said that old boy wasn't gonna be able to, you know, do it based off his last case uh, when he got, the other dude got out guilty. So I'm excited to see what's gonna happen the rest of this series. You guys let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Um, Jax is really, really going through it right now. Like, I don't, I'm glad she uh made the decision to give the case to someone else. But I can't believe they brought in Mr. Rosewood. If you know, you know. If you know, you know. <laughs>
uh, I think that that was a good person to choose for that role. Um, yeah, I'm definitely excited to see. I'm sure she's still going to be working with him some kind of way. Maybe she'll be like, I don't know if they have like side lawyers or side people that help the, the main lawyer that takes the case. I guess like um, Jax's partner last season, she'll just be like the second chair. I, get, I think it's the term that they use. So um, yeah. I don't know what's going to happen in episode two, but I heard that these episodes release weekly. So I think we will check these out together. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to like, like I said before. And um, yeah, that's all I have for you today. And until next time, everyone, I am out. Bye.